We begin here. The controversy over Obamacare is moving beyond healthcare.gov. Some states that set up their own health insurance websites have had problems of their own. And sources tell CBS News those websites are costing more than a billion dollars. Jan Crawford is in Washington. Jan, good morning. Well, good morning, Nora and Charlie. That is one billion dollars with a B to pay for these Obamacare websites in the states that have their own insurance exchanges and that huge price tag is being paid for by the federal government courtesy of taxpayers and some of these websites have struggled to get off the ground. With healthcare.gov unusable for most, administration officials have pointed to efforts in the states and called it success. They are eager to enroll folks and that that is going smoothly. But people in some of those states may disagree with how smoothly it's going. One thing's for sure, the federal tax dollars are pouring in. A CBS News analysis shows that the 15 states that opted to set up their own exchanges are spending more than $1.1 billion to launch and implement their own Obamacare websites often paying the same government contractors to do the same job in different states. California has dedicated $359 million, while New York is spending 161. In Kentucky, it's $100 million, and in Oregon, the price tag is $50 million. The president has pointed to Oregon, which has enrolled 56,000 people in Medicaid to argue things are working. That's 56,000 more Americans who now have health care. That doesn't depend on a website. And it's a good thing because Oregon's website doesn't work. The new Medicaid enrollments came through the mail. The state website has yet to enroll a single person. Clay Johnson is a former member of President Obama's technology team. What we've done is we've created systems that enable this level of waste. He blames federal rules that favor large government contractors who win out over and over, like CGI, which won bids in five different states to help develop their websites. That's the same company now under fire for its role as lead contractor for the federal website. If CGI Federal had uh, contracts with five different states, something tells me that they got paid five times for some of the same code. Now, CGI has had some better luck in some of those states, like Kentucky, which is seen as kind of a model. And other states say their websites now are well underway. But Charlie and Nora, it goes back to the money. And why are taxpayers forking over more than a billion dollars on 15 different state websites that are going to end up looking pretty much the same? All right, Jan, thank you. And you saw health insurance.